Class 1, Chapter 9, Data Handling. Let's visit a zoo. There, we will see many animals and will count their number. Hey, look there. There are so many animals. Yes, they are. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, these are too many. But how will we remember which animals were there and what was their number? For this, I will make a chart with pictures of animals and their names. Now you count the animals and write their numbers on the chart. You will find animal's name on one side of chart and their numbers on the other side of the chart. I will count the number of monkeys. Avneet, you will count the number of elephants. Pari, you will count the deers. And Tanisha, you will count the number of rabbits. The number of monkeys is five. There are four elephants. There are six deers. And the number of rabbits is Seven. Wow, that's really very easy. Now, we know the number of all the animals. Yes, it's really very easy. Hey, look there. What beautiful flowers. And that too. In different colors. Sukhadev, you draw a chart and we will count them and write their numbers. Okay. Avneet, you count red flowers. Anmol, you count blue flowers. Tanisha, you count white flowers. There are six red flowers. There are four blue flowers. And the number of white flowers is five. Wow! It's really an easy method. Now, we know the number of all flowers. Tomorrow, we will count the number of pencils, sharpeners and erasers. Of all the students in the school. I will count the number of books and notebooks of all the students. Well done, dear children. All of you must have counted the number, pencils, erasers and sharpeners. Let me ask you their numbers one by one. First of all, tell me the number of books. It's 18. And the number of notebooks? It's 13. Wow, that's great. Now you all tell me, out of the number of books and notebooks, which is more? The number of books is more. Well done. Superb. Now you tell me, what number of books is more than the notebooks. 18 minus 13 is equal to 5. How many goods a symbol depicts? Understanding it carefully leads you to the right answer without any conflict.